But first, uh, our big guest this evening, the former Congress spokesperson Rohan Gupta, has joined the Bharatiya Janata Party ahead of the uh, forthcoming Lok Sabha elections. He follows Gaurav uh, uh, Vallabh Gupta, an ex key communications aide to the Congress president. Uh, thanks very much um, for being with us, Rohan. Now, you say the uh, Congress party, Rohan, has lost direction and is full of contradictions. What are those contradictions, in your opinion? So, Vishnu, if you see the way the communication department is handled for the last two years, from the gentleman, I, I would not like to name, from the time he has been made the in charge of communication department, there are contradictions on all the points, you know, whether it is about... Uh, not opposing the insult of Sanatan. Obviously, it is about the sentiment of the country. You cannot ignore any insult done by your allies and you have to counter that. If you are a national party, Congress is not a regional party. You have to ensure your responsibilities and should have countered that. All of us, all the spokesperson strongly represented on this cause, but we were not heard. That is point number one. Point number two, they have formed the alliance in name of the country. And in the same alliance, you have Mr. Kejriwal, whom the party has accused of being with Khalistani terrorists, whom the party has accused of corruption, whom the party press no, press conferences have been organized, accuse him in the excise can and then you have to protect him by organizing the rally. Don't you feel that is a contradiction? I'm talking about EVM. Two elections are won by Congress party through EVM. You are questioning EVM? Yesterday, Mr. Sam Pitroda, he, he told that the middle class will have to pay additional taxes and you are talking about the price rise. You don't you feel that is the contradiction? The industrialists, you know, the men, the industrialists whom the people attack from Delhi sitting here in AICC, the same industrialist signs MOU in Rajasthan and Telangana. Don't you feel that is a contradiction? See, we should need to understand we are the people who are facing people on ground. We are people representing the party on media. Whatever feedback we get, if that is not heard by the party and is left to one person who is completely leftist, who has ensured the narrative of parties completely not heard of, don't you feel that is painful? See, as a party soldier, when till the time I was there in party for 15 years, I have never questioned that on public forum. Whatever way we felt good, bad, yes, it was our responsibility to ensure that party stand, whether I like it or not, I represent it. But, you know, there is a limit to it, you know. Beyond a point, you cannot face people with the same narrative. You are killing the party which was called the centrist party, you have totally converted that party into leftist party. You are supporting CPI, which Congress party has opposed for 60 years. Please understand that if Congress party was in power for 60 years, that is because of the ideology of nationalism and being center. You but have converted you talk... party as a leftist. You are not in the center. You are against, you are going, your policies are against Rashtravad nationalism. Why, why the situation of Congress party is because of these decisions? No, so I narrative understand, is completely but you know, you use the word... Rohan, and last Rohan, one, one and a half years, it has gone to the extreme level. Rohan, one second. But ideologically, when did you, you use that word just now, ideologically, when did you start to realize that you stood eye to eye with what the BJP stands for? Because all this time, you've always stood entirely for the Congress. At what stage did you realize that, you know, you stood with them? See, I'll tell you, uh, uh, ideologically, the way this decline has started from the appointment of this gentleman as a communication in charge. I have been in with the party for the last 15 years, have represented party on various roles, but it was never so bad, you know. We, we understand, like if you re remember the famous 2017 campaign where Mr. Rahul Gandhi ensured in the minds of people are purely positive. But after that, 2018 Rajasthan, I was the media in charge. We ensured that the victory of the party. 2019, I was the national, uh, after the elections, I was made national chairman of social media for three years. During the COVID time, we ensured that the narrative was not bad. But after 2022, you, you mark all the decisions where there are blunders by parties communication being in terms of setting narrative. This is to totally against the sentiment of the country. You cannot have, you know, narrative which is totally against the country. How can we face that on ground? Rohan, not attending the Ram Temple consecration, the Congress felt um, that this was a political event, that the BJP was taking advantage of it. But you now say that you have a problem with them not going. Is that one of the reasons why you quit? See, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. See, maybe parties at that level, if they were thinking that it was a political event and all, why can't Congress party's leader go next day, just stand in the queue and do the darshan? Why can't they do that? 
Don't you feel that was possible? See, it is about the sentiment. When you are saying no, you are sending strong message to the people that we, once you are saying that, okay, we respect the verdict of Supreme Court, right? On the other hand, you are not going to the event. Then what message you are going, going to give? So, you know, you cannot have this kind of narrative. The people of this country are very smart. See, you are raising the voice when something happens against particular community. I'll give you an example of Mr. Danish uh, of UP, right? Something was spoken against him. Uh, Rahul Gandhi ji hugged him. Same time this another thing happened. Not, no reaction. So you cannot have this kind of approach. You are a national party. You should not forget that you are not a regional party. You cannot take people's narrative for granted. You have to be sensitive towards the people's call to you. People yeah. expect a lot from opposition party. And as a spokesperson, we have to face that. We are people who go on ground. We get feedback of people. We communicate it to party. It has to be bottom top. It cannot be top bottom. The communication of the party, if it is top bottom, you are not touching the grounds. You are against the public sentiment. That is the whole issue. Rohan, I get it. One final question. Recently, another former Congress uh, spokesperson, Gaurav Vallabh, joined the BJP. Is your decision absolutely independent of his? Absolutely independent. See, I'll tell you, Vishnu, we, the Congress spokesperson, it's not about only Gaurav or me. There are all of them. When we talk off record, I'm telling you, this is the sentiment of each and every spokesperson. And Vishnu, this is not difficult to understand. As a citizen of the country, the people ask, this is the feedback we get from ground. It's not about me or it's not about Gora or it's not about anybody else. This is something which is written on the wall. Why can't they read it? This is the basic question. Something which is written on the wall, why can't they read it? And there is a limit to which Vishnu, we can defend it, right? We are also people who believe in God, I am the pure Sanatani, then obviously it feels bad. I am not telling today because I am joining BJP. This pain was there, but as a soldier of the party, I never represented in public forum. And this pain is not of me. Maybe all the Congress spokesperson, maybe all Congress workers. I have maybe, today I have left the party. I have 15 years of hard work. Party gave me opportunity. I gave my work with the full of the honesty, but maybe by going down, Going out of it, at least I'm putting voice of people in, in public okay. forum. You cannot run party like this. You cannot ignore public sentiment. You cannot ignore the, the, the voice of the workers. This is what is going to happen if you are going to do that. There is no surprise why we are talking that the situation of Congress has happened. This is a grand old party where people have voted for you for 60 years and you are not understanding the sentiment of the ground. That is something strongly wrong. All right. Well, uh... You know, thanks very much, Rohan, uh, for joining us, expressing yourself over there. We did try and reach out to the Congress to react to, uh, to Rohan, but they've chosen not to. Good luck with your next political innings, Rohan. Thanks very much for being with us on the program tonight.